Glorious Day in Corporate Hell is a feature film screenplay by Sophia Stewart. Today you will hear an extract as an audio presentation for seven voices, including mine. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. At the far end of Xenia 3 is the junior wing of the Angelus Academia, or Angel Academy, if you're not a classic scholar. If you're also not familiar with Xenia 3, you take the Mars shuttle to the Andromeda galaxy and ride share on a rocket from there. A couple of light years, plus a well-earned nap, essentially. The pupils at Angelus Academia generally remain there for seven years, during which time they study humans and other sentient life forms in great depth before being sent out on their first assignment. However, the celestial beings destined for earthbound assignments are required to do an extra term. This is because humans are, well, rather tricky. According to the philosopher Carl Jung, by the age of 35, the human personality should be somewhat fixed then the individual can embark on the psychology of the afternoon, hopefully unencumbered by neuroses. But many humans today get stuck and require a gentle nudge from their angel guide. Unaware of their predicament, they're too busy pursuing the capitalist dream to really take stock. You're about to meet Anna Bernard, an executive in Manhattan, who fits this description. As a result, her angel guide is about to get their dispatch orders. Unfortunately for Anna, this happens to be Gloria Nimbus, an angel who has never done their homework due to the Doris Day movie marathons on the celestial streaming network. Although charming and displaying great innovation from time to time, Gloria can present as something of a scatterbrain, much to the exasperation of Elliot Magister, the headmaster at Angelus Academia. Ah, here's Elliot now. I'll let him take it from here. You have an intramural memo. Acknowledge receipt with voice print to play. This is Elliot from Sector 5, Carry On Caller. Elliot, it's time. We want Gloria Nimbus to tackle the Anna Barnard assignment. Please arrange for their transit to Earth. I know you have your reservations, but the Council is resolute on this matter. Please proceed as planned. Best of luck. I'm sure Gloria will do us proud. And transmission. Mum, I got your message. Yes. Uh, well, we all adore Gloria, but she's not my best pupil. Of course, Mum. You know best. End transmission. I don't believe it. Oh, ye gods. <sighs> Give me strength. Gloria, I hope you're not watching that Pillow Talk film again. What is it with you and Doris Day? Now, listen carefully. The Council has decided it's time to send you to Earth. I am into messaging your human's file. Please acknowledge you have read and received all the information. And Gloria, don't mess this up, OK? Please wait, caller. Accept file? Yes, please. I mean, accept the file. Oh, Earth, home of Doris Day. The hats, the shoes, the score, the decor, the elegance, the romance. Tell me it's Paris. Tell me it's spring. Tell me she's in love. Now, none of your romantic nonsense. This is serious stuff. Take a Macintosh from the supply cupboard. It's New York and it's winter. It's probably raining, possibly snowing too. Neither of which you've encountered before. 
Read her file carefully and do your best. Check in on arrival. Best of luck and bon voyage. End transmission. Well, tell me she's in advertising at least. 欢迎乘坐前往火星的航天飞机，自动切换到地球，请注意时空的差距。Welcome aboard the shuttle to Mars with automatic cellular switch change to Earth. Please mind the gap in space time. Добро пожаловать на борт шаттла на Марс с автоматическим переключением сотовой связи на Землю. Пожалуйста, обратите внимание на разрыв в пространстве времени. Midtown. Take six. Pete, it's Anna. Are you there already? Did you sleep at the office again? I lost my keys. Don't you have a doorman? I live in Queens. Right, I forgot. Do you have a doorman? Do you think they pay me enough to have a doorman? I don't know why we do it. The glory of a career in Manhattan, Pete. And the promise of future riches. I just want to earn enough to date. <laughs> Too much information, Pete. Where are your boundaries? They ran off with my low self-esteem. Oh, do you need anything for your 9 a.m. with John Torrance? Yeah, a stun gun and a flak jacket. Just remember, you're the best woman on the team. Pete, I'm the only woman on the team. Gloria Nimbus, Sector 5 has been contacted. Please wait. Caller. Start transmission. Requesting Elliot Magister, Sector 5. Please wait, caller. Gloria Nimbus in position. Mission in progress. Directions, please. Gloria, we've been through this. Get a cab to Soho. Soho. That sounds so romantic. Your expectations are way too high. It's my first assignment, and I think my naivete is becoming... Naivete isn't what we trained you for, Gloria. Oh, Elliot, fear not. I promise to be a stellar example of your teachings. Over and out. Ye gods, give me strength and send some to Gloria, please. I'm not buying. Oh gosh, that's good, because I'm not selling anything at all. I came about the room. Really? Absolutely. Now I have to ask, are you in advertising? I'm a digital media executive. I'm not sure I know about that one. Do you work in an office with secretaries and water coolers and typewriters and glass offices with people's job titles on them in gold letters? Are you one of those weird people who live in the past? I'm a huge Doris Day fan. I love her movies set in Manhattan. I just moved here and I'm so happy to meet you. I don't like Perky and I don't like retro girls from out of state. I bought dirty martinis and avocado dip and two months' rent in cash. You should have led with that line. Welcome to New York. Leave your innocence at the door. Oh, have you not lived here long? About three years. Why? You okay with paper cups? No, I am not. A person who carries their own stemware? Impressive. What else is in that magic case? Whatever I request from HQ. Huh? Oops, <laughs> bottoms up. Who's your new roommate? Her name is Gloria. She has a Doris Day obsession. Early or late Doris. Come again? Early, as in pillow talk, or more mature Doris from with six you get egg roll era. She wears a lot of pink and carries a little case with martini glasses in them. Oh, definitely early Doris. Hello, you must be Pete. Wow, really early, Doris. How did you get past security? Oh, they were charming. You don't have clearance. I don't understand that concept. You can't just walk into a high security building without being on the list and having ID. Golly, is your work hush hush. How exciting. It can be. At least it needs to be to be com competitive. What are you doing here? I just had an interview. Where? Here. To do what? It must be something glorious. They promised me an office. Seriously? You seem upset. I didn't anticipate that. Oh dear, and I bought such a nice lot of stationery items for my new office too. They gave you an office? What floor? This one. 
It took me five years to make it to this floor. Actually, according to your file, it took you ten, including graduate school and some hefty loans. They gave you my file? It's standard procedure. Oh, although I don't think it's standard procedure to tell you, now I come to think about it. The big boss is heading this way. Oh, crap. We'll talk about this later, Gloria. I seriously cannot wait. I will be in my office. I've always wanted to say that. Gloria Nimbus, Sector 5 has been contacted. Please wait. Oh, Elliot, it's not nearly as much fun as it looked in the movies. But I have a plan. Don't be mad at me, okay? Gloria? What are you doing in my office? Oh, I'm packing. Why? Because you're about to get fired. You're scaring me. Do you want this stapler? Put that back. It belongs to the firm. Do you have a nice stapler at home? I can't remember the last time I felt the urge to staple anything. Why am I going to get fired? And how do you know before, about it before I do? Gloria does seem to have the inside track. I didn't see you there, Pete. What the hell do you think you're doing sneaking into my office? I just heard you're about to get fired. Have you been listening to Gloria's gossiping? If I could resent that, I would. Now concentrate. Do you want this? What's that? I've never seen that before. It's the top secret deck from the competition's new project. How did this end up in my office? I thought it would be helpful. Now I know why I'm about to be fired. The question is why are you trying to ruin my life? I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm trying to get you back on track. Gloria, someone called Elliot is on line one. He said you need to report in. Urgently. Oh, bother. I'm in the doghouse. Who's Elliot? He's my handler. You're a corporate spy? Not exactly. Anna, HR on line two for you.